Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. The end of the Battle of New York is at hand and I got a terrible headache! <laughs> I don't know why. I, oh, I'm not feeling real good right now. But that's not gonna stop me from showing off the end of Battle of New York. So we only got, uh, by the time this releases, we're gonna have not a lot of time left. So, um, what am I gonna be doing? Just non-stop farming this, man. This is the end. Um... I'm gonna basically just be grinding these boxes till the end of time. And then after that, it's, uh, it's uh, time to take a good old break. At least kind of slow down in my speed of uh, non-stop grinding. Because um, that's how kind of how I like to play Fate, is that there are times where I just do nothing but crazy grinding. And then at the end, I just take a nice break. The game, the game definitely is paced enough that you can basically play however long you want, um, and yeah, so that's very helpful. By the way, if you end up liking this video, you should leave a like. This is the end of the Battle of New York, so I know the only people who are watching this are deep into fate. Uh, your support could mean a lot because I'm not feeling the greatest right now. <laughs> Don't, I'm not trying to guilt pressure you into you. Just calm down. If you like it, you liked it. Um, somehow you did, by the way. I think I'm, when you combine all the, I'll show it at the end here. I had currently have 35, and then combined with the tickets amount I have here. And that's how much I'm going to have here by the end. Oh man. But yeah, I've been using a lot of my time grinding, specifically New York, um, <laughs> to, get, to catch up on TV. The main thing I watched was Star Wars. I've been watching a lot of the animated Star Wars uh, Clone Wars special, which has been really good. Um, <clears throat> almost done with season one, moving on to season two. Someone told me that there's a watch order that you can do, um, and I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. I appreciate the trying to get me to enjoy it to the max, but I just watch stuff and I watch it in whatever order it was actually made in, because that's just the way I kind of go. Um, actually, had a very similar. Uh, the thing is, is that the, the reason I do that is that if I try and follow to some kind of schedule, I never keep it. I'm like one of those people who are like, let me follow a very specific order of operations of watching stuff. I usually like to watch stuff the day on based on the release of it. So for example, for uh, Fate's Day Night, um, I skip the VMs, of course, like all, oh, let me show the display. This might surprise you, I've never actually read the VNs, mainly because uh, I never felt like it. <laughs> I've read other visual novels, just never felt like reading specifically Fates. Um, just never got around to it. Mainly because I remember it being kind of a pain in the ass to actually install on your computer. And I don't feel like actually, if I'm gonna read it, then I'm gonna read it for real. Z. I'm not gonna watch it on a um, computer. But for the most part, I have a friend, Lerp, and uh, not. Be and they told me basically everything I need to know. Any question I have, I'm like, so why is this like this? And they'd be like, well, you see, at this point, um, Sakura was extremely horny, and then that's why this happened. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you for telling me. That makes sense. Uh, they're the reason I know what, um, about semen bullets and all that other stuff. Um, if you don't know about semen bullets, it's, it's, oh god, it's so hard to explain. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, <laughs> how did I get- how did I hard pivot here? Um, but specifically Watch Order, so for Fate, I started with the Dean anime. Um, not with Fate Stay Night. Um, and then for some reason I think I went to- yeah, his Zero was animated first and then they did Unlimited Blade Wars. I think that's how it went. So I watched Zero, um, which I liked a whole bunch. Probably still my favorite of the anime ones, which makes everyone who's into fate automatically get angry. Um, which I say, get over it. It's a very, it's, just, it's, it's not that big a deal. Don't worry about it. Um, and then, yeah, I watched Unlimited Blade Works, and I thought Unlimited Blade Works was super annoying and very bad. Which apparently the people who have, um, who really like the VNs have said like, oh no, you hate Shiro if you. I just watch Unlimited Blade Works, and you, in the in the VN you get to understand him a little bit more. In the anime, it's a little bit more. He's a little bit. You end up hating him a lot more. 
so I'm like, okay. I, I, I think I understand my hatred of him now, but I still hate him. And then they go, well, you should be the end. And then I go, well, no, that's not happening. I'm sorry. We are, we are at an impasse. I'm not going to read a VN to understand a character I don't necessarily like a whole bunch. And here we are. So, um, of course, if you like the VNs and you like the VNs, it's all good. I'm not making fun of you, of course. You should enjoy what you want to enjoy. Um, even though I'm not the biggest fan of, I guess, setting up the VN. I guess, again, if it was easier, um, they should really look into translating the original version. Um, and if they want to release it in the West on Steam and just get rid of all the porn, apparently, if you ask the main creator, the porn was added after the fact, even though so much porn elements entered the actual world building of Fate. That's the one thing I'm always gonna be like, uh huh. Whenever someone goes like, oh yeah, the guy who made it, it's like, he had to add porn to the story, you know, to make it, you know, plausible. And I'm like, but there's a lot of stuff that he didn't need to make it. He didn't need to, like, make it into the world. Like, there's no reason why mana transfers have to be you have to fuck the person. There is zero reason why mana transfers should be that way. They, he could just fuck because he wants to fuck. But in the, <laughs> some reason, in the end, that's not how it goes. I, <laughs> I don't understand that part of it. I have no problem with sex stuff. I've read plenty of foreign um, visual novels out there. I have no shame in it. If, if something's a good story, then something's a good story regardless of the porn that's inside of it. Like Alex Moore said, you could make an extremely classy porn book, or at least he tried to. Um, it's an art form, regardless of anything. An art form can be as, as artful as it can be, uh, even if it is just smut. Even smut has its artistic values if you know, if you put artistic values into them. Um, but... Anytime they've tried to walk back on it, I always go like, dude, they could not have put so much of the fucking world building built around having sex. It just doesn't make any sense to me. How can this entire franchise be predicated on boning, and then you tell me later on, it's like, no, he had to add the boning, you know, so they would set. Like, he didn't have to make it crucial. That doesn't make any sense to me. I think I'm getting my point across here, is that basically I think that whatever you made, if you're making it a part of your world, it's a part of your world, dog. Like that's what, that's another thing. Going back to Star Wars, um, I never liked the walking back of the magic of Star Wars with midichlorians in um, in um, the prequels. <clears throat> I think any mention of midichlorians automatically invalidates a lot of stuff. Mainly because it's, instead of being a magical force of religion, which is what it's supposed to be. Religious order of people who go like, ah yes, we feel something and then we are guided by it. They turn into these people who are like, yeah, a bunch of fucking like bug things tell us how to move. Also these bug things cause Anakin to get pregnant. Anakin's mom to get pregnant. And then you go like, what? What? The force is, com is somehow related to these little tiny bug things, which is why I'm glad a lot of, like, after the first Star Wars movie, they really don't mention midichlorians anymore. No one's mentioned midichlorians after Phantom Menace. Even the prequel movies, I think, don't really mention midichlorians anymore. Um, I like it better when it's a magic. It's, it's, again, it's that scene in the original Star Wars A New Hope when he goes like, Your religion can't, your religious can't, can't, or can't affect me, Vader. Get your religious hokey pokey away from me. And then Vader fucking goes up to him and he goes like... And he chokes him, because he's using the goddamn force <laughs> to choke a man out. But I digress. Uh, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. We're gonna end it off as we do most Fate videos by having Lancelot shout Arthur at the screen. Again, if you liked it, you can leave a like. If you want to tell me about your thoughts about anything we talked about, if you're gonna talk about the Fate fucking, I would suggest try keeping it PG-13, even though I didn't keep it very PG-13. Or you want to talk to me about midichlorians, I'll talk about that too. I'll talk about that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I wish you guys a good day. Peace out! Oh, 
震え凍てつき砕け散る時まで諦めることは許さんぞ」。